In the vast universe filled with countless wonders, astronomers have made an astonishing discovery, one that has sent shockwaves throughout the scientific community. They have uncovered the presence of an ultra-massive black hole that's over 30 billion times the mass of our Sun. This is a groundbreaking discovery that's challenging our understanding of the universe as we know it. Today, we are going to talk about one of the most significant modern breakthroughs in the world of astronomy. An ultra-massive black hole that defies the very fabric of space. So, let's get into it and talk about what's probably the biggest astronomical marvel of recent times. Uncover more secrets of the universe by clicking like, subscribe and hitting the bell icon so that you don't miss what we find next. Astronomers have discovered an ultra-massive black hole. That is approximately 32 billion times the mass of the Sun. Its incredible size is not the only thing that sets this black hole apart. It's the dimensions of its event horizon that are mind-boggling. The event horizon! The point of no return for matter and light in a black hole spans a diameter of roughly 1300 times the distance between the Sun and the Earth to give you an idea of how huge it is. If this black hole were placed at the center of our solar system, its edges would extend way beyond the boundary of interstellar space. This ultra-massive black hole is located around 2.7 billion light-years from us, at the heart of a galaxy, in the center of a massive galaxy cluster. The fascinating thing about this discovery is that astronomers used a new technique for measuring the mass of this black hole, which had never been used before. This is a historic time for the field worth exploring in detail. So, how did astronomers measure the size of this ultra-massive black hole? How is it even possible to determine the properties of this huge celestial body without actually observing it? And most importantly, what does this discovery mean for astronomers? To answer these questions, we first need to understand the concept of gravitational lensing. It is a phenomenon where light from a distant galaxy bends around a massive object because of its strong gravitational field between the observer and the universe. Look at this stunning image of a distant galaxy located around 10 billion light years away from Earth and a cluster roughly 5 billion light years away. The arc-shaped pattern in this photo is the result of gravitational lensing. And the most fascinating thing is that the arc is not a collection of distorted pictures of different galaxies. It is a single galaxy appearing in this pattern. The light comes from different locations because it bends around the massive object and its gravity causes the curve. The huge galaxy cluster works as a lens, bending the light of the galaxy, forming these mesmerizing arcs. Gravitational lensing was first predicted by Albert Einstein in 1912. Since then, it has become a valuable tool for astronomers, allowing them to study distant galaxies accurately. Gravitational lensing magnifies the light of these distant galaxies, making them appear bigger and brighter. As a result, they become more visible to the telescope. One of the examples of the power of this technique is the discovery of Irundel, the most distant single star known so far. This star is also commonly known as the morning star or the rising star. Astronomers have made a fascinating discovery highlighting the powerful lensing ability of the brightest cluster galaxy or BCG in a massive cluster referred to as Abel 1201. The brightest cluster galaxy is a title given to the most luminous galaxy in a cluster of galaxies. Abel 1201 is a CD type, luminous elliptical galaxy found at the center of the galaxy clusters. So how did astronomers find the ultra-massive black hole using the magnified image of another galaxy? The answer lies in this image. There are three things to note here in the first column of this image. One, the first is the bright region in the center, it is the CD galaxy in the galaxy cluster Abel 1201. In this image, it is acting like a lens. 2. The second thing to observe is the giant arc at the top. This arc is the distorted image of the background galaxy. 3. And third, there is a small arc of the same background galaxy, known as the counter image. Now look at the second column. The images in this column are the subtracted images in which the lensing galaxy is removed. Finally, Look at the third column. It is a magnified version of the counter images. This lies at the heart of the discovery of the ultra-massive black hole. Astronomers discovered the primary arc many years ago. They studied the gravitational effects on the motion of the stars to find the black hole's mass. 
they found it to be around 25 billion solar masses. But a few years later, astronomers found an anomaly. Another arc, which was the counter image of the primary arc. The discovery of the counter arc was groundbreaking, as it represents something fascinating about the system under observation. And that is, additional solar mass was required for the counter image to be formed so close to the BCG. So the astronomers ran different models and simulations to match the observed data. But still, how can we say with certainty that a black hole produced the counter arc? This image answers the question. The left column displays the model without a black hole, and the model on the right side considers a black hole that weighs around 10 billion solar masses. It is clear from the image that the deviation in the counter image is only possible in the presence of a black hole. The right column matches the shape of the observed counter image using the Hubble telescope. So it is scientifically accurate to say that the presence of an ultra massive black hole is essential to create this particular counter image. But still, additional simulations were required to find the exact mass of the black hole among the different models and simulations that the astronomers tried out. The one that best aligned with the observation has an estimated mass of 32.7 billion times the mass of the Sun. Astronomers also established a baseline for the upper limit to the mass of the black hole by running simulations with solar masses ranging from 0 to 100 billion. The calculation showed that once the mass reaches 53 billion solar masses, the distance from the BCG at which the counter galaxy forms get bigger, thus resulting in the deviation from the observation. This is how the upper limit of 53 billion solar masses was established for this ultramassive black hole. Furthermore, one of the most exciting elements of this discovery is the technique that was used to measure the mass of the black hole. This novel technique used gravitational lensing to determine the mass instead of the previously used techniques, such as the motion of the surrounding stars. Mass measurement with the gravitational lenses method resulted in a more accurate measure of at least seven solar masses compared to the previous estimate. Moreover, this is an excellent demonstration of gravitational lensing, which marks the first time a black hole's mass has been measured without the rare observation of a central image. However, the central image is among the multiple lensed images of the background galaxy that forms very close to the main object. This makes it difficult to detect. This is due to the fact that the light of the lensing galaxy shines brighter than the faint central image. There is a crucial relationship between the mass of a black hole as the center of a galaxy and the galaxy's velocity dispersion, which is known as the M-sigma relation. The graph explaining this relation shows black hole mass measurements obtained through different techniques. A pointer and a downward arrow indicate the estimated mass and the upper limit. For this ultra-massive black hole, the mass-velocity dispersion relation has fallen within the two-sigma outlier of the linear graph. This shows that gravitational lensing is a reliable method for measuring the mass of a black hole. This mass measurement approach for ultra-massive black holes shows the significance of gravitational lensing, which can help us understand the evolution of these stellar objects. Although there is still a lot that we don't know about the nature of black holes, the discovery of this ultra-massive black hole is a good place to start. Thank you for joining us on this mind-blowing journey through the discovery of the ultra-massive black hole. The magnitude of this discovery reminds us of the limitless potential that lies beyond our comprehension. Until we meet again, keep exploring the infinite mysteries that are waiting for you in the vastness of space. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest space explorations. Join us next time as we delve into new frontiers, uncovering the mysteries of our universe.